the 1995 Ohio Sires Championship Final for four and five-year-old Pacers. Racing one mile, purse of $70,000. Off the rail, a four-year-old son of Falcon Elmerhurst. Well, all King's horses, John Kalfas, Mark Feller, and Rockefeller Stable, trained by Ron Potter. A mark of 152 and three, earnings of $209,000. Triple crown winner in the state of Ohio in 1994. Dave Miller driving, Mertz Falcon. From post position two, a base son of Tucson Hanover. Hope by John and Robert Morris of Ohio, Dan Purdue training. Three year record of 153 and four. Earnings of $93,000, just off a win here at Cider Downs. Go Buckeyes, driven by Eric Lundford. From post position three, a brown son of Noble and Sam. Oh, then trained by Chip Noble of Xenia, Ohio. Three-year-old best of 153, earnings of $208,000. Chip Noble driving, Dr. Elbon. From post position four, four-year-old son of Chevron Lobel, held by Terry Gillen and Richard Full of Massillon, Ohio, Ray Fisher, Jr. trains. Four-year-old record of 153 and two here at Santa Downs, earnings of $121,000. Coming in from Northfield Park, Bud's Victory, driven by Ray Fisher, Jr. From post position five, a five-year-old son of Good to See You, all by Richard and Peggy Payne of Vandalia, Ohio, Mike Paul Hamas training. Four-year-old record of 153 right here at Setter Downs, earnings of $119,000. Mike Paul Hamas driving, Nardi Jeff. From post position six, four-year-old son of Tucson, Hanover. Look at the Jester Stable on the Cappy Stables of Pennsylvania, New York. Bruce Walls at the trainer. Three-year-old record of 152 and two. Earnings of $130,000. Bruce Regal driving, touch of greatness. Scoring from post position seven. Four-year-old son of Noble and Sam, owned by Jay Lucarelli of Cleveland, Ohio, Craig Stein training. Three-year-old bust of 153 and four. Earnings of $190,000 coming in from Northfield Park. Jim Pagliano driving, Samande. There is your field for the uh, 12th race. When play show perfected, trifecta wage. At the gate swings into the back stretch for the 1995 $70,000 final. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And they're off. First away, Bud's victory. Fires for the lead from the far outside. It's Samandi. Touch of greatness. Right there is third. Mertz Falcon off the bit as fourth. Go Buckeyes. Dropping in quickly. Five. Followed six by Dr. Ilbon. The early trailer. Seventh is Nardi Jeff. Right of the upper turn. And Bud's victory. Sense of the early pace by two. Samandi to the inside is racing second. Touch of greatness from the outside. Finds a seat here third at the first quarter mile marker. 26 and four. And with the lead, it's the four. Bud's victory, eight to one shot showing the way. Here comes Touch of Greatness right back to the outside and Touch of Greatness making his bid for the lead. Samandi in the pocket is racing at third. Mertz Falcon coming to the outside with covered fourth. Go Buckeyes moving off the rail five. Dr. Elbon gapping two lengths is sick. Nardi Jeff trailing seventh, reaching the half 55 and two. Off the turn and down the back stretch and touch of greatness is part on the inside and a battling back Bud's victory. Off the turn and down the back stretch and here it comes. Mertz Falcon three wide, field begins to tighten now. So Mandy is buried fourth on the rail. Go Buckeyes with live cover is fifth. Three across now as they swing into the final turn. Tightly packed here. And with the lead up on the outside, Mertz Falcon three quarters. One, 24 and one. And Mertz Falcon continues the lead. On the inside, racing is second. It's Bud's victory and go Buckeyes into striking position now. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Mertz Falcon with the lead by three. But Go Buckeyes is coming at him and coming on. For their outside, Nardi Jeff, touch of greatness coming back, but it's Mertz Falcon at the wire. Tight for place. One, 54 and one.
Here, ladies and gentlemen, is the official winner, the 1995 Ohio Sires Championship Final. Number one, Mertz Falcon. Just a four-year-old son of Falcon Elmerhurst from Keystone Myrtle. Oh, by all kings, horses, John Golfus, Mark R Feller, and Rockefeller Stables. Ron Potter, the uh, trainer, Dave Miller in the sulky. Sixth season's victory for the four-year-old pacer. Today's mile, 154, one fifth. Tracks on to make the trophy presentation. The secretary of the Ohio Standard Red Development Fund, Mr. Charles Bowen. Also track side, the president and director of Mid-America Racing Association, Mrs. Charles Hill, and director of racing, Mr. James Ewart. For driver Dave Miller, it's a driving triple here this afternoon. Here's how they finish.